pilots were reporting that they were hearing static while the Starlink was going during their communications. Starlinks are causing interference. That's right. The pilots, of course, use VHF radios to talk to air traffic control. So VHF is you know, 30 to 300 megahertz. But pilots are only using what's called the air band inside that, which is 108 to 138 megahertz, where they use AM radios to talk to air traffic control. AM radios. AM radios. And it's not a mistake, and it's not an example of them being old-fashioned. They've purposely chosen AM radio as the best technology for air traffic control. Why? AM radios have this interesting property, that there's no error correction. If two people broadcast AM radio at the same time, the radio waves mix similarly to the how sound mixes when two people talk. So when you play it on the radio, if two people are talking at the same time, you hear both people talking. Almost every other system we have, FM radio, which is frequency modulated, OFDM, all the digital technologies have error correction. All of those make sure that if two signals arrive at the same time, you only hear one of them. One signal wins. But if two people are talking at the same time in some sort of air traffic, both saying that they're going for the same, they want to hear both. So it's a feature. And all those other ones have almost no static. That's because AM radios just play whatever they receive. So if there's Mm. any interference, any random noise, or any data packets, if the Starlink was putting out any data in that frequency band, it'll get played as static that the pilots will hear. What can they do to fix it? There's kind of a lot going on. So when you get a a powerful transmitter, Starlink talking to satellites, it not only puts out the frequency it means to put out, it usually puts out a fair amount on half that frequency, quarter that frequency, eighth that frequency, sixteenth of the frequency. Also, if it's like sending packets at a regular speed, 10,000 packets a second, it is also now making a 10 kilohertz signal. Just those packets going out, even though each of the packets is on a much higher frequency up in the gigahertz, the set of packets together form a signal themselves that shows up. So this stuff can be really tricky. And you you have to look very closely. And a lot of times the solutions come down to just some conducting tape in the right spot. (laughs) So that there's one more layer of metal between the edge of the Starlink antenna and wherever the VHF antenna is. Maybe the power has to be turned down a little bit on the Starlink. Maybe they have to be moved a little further apart. There are kind of a lot of tricks that can be done. So you think Starlink internet on planes is still in our future? Absolutely. I think they're going to fix this up. I think there's a bunch of RF guys walking around with antennas and spectrum analyzers, and they're going to figure this out. It wasn't totally jamming. It was just adding a little bit of static that they could hear. They'll sort this out and Starlink will be providing internet on airplanes. We've got more satellite internet discussion, so check the linked video.